Yo, what's up, YouTube? You already know who it is. It's 5617 Steve. Um, today I'm gonna be making a video about my Fort Jackson basic training experience. I'm gonna try to keep this under 10 minutes. Let's get it. All right, so first of all, I went to Fort Jackson for basic training. Uh, my, my MOS is a 91 Juliet. I ain't gonna say what that is because you know it's, it's too long of an MOS and not a lot of people know about it. All right, so first, first things first, man. Before you actually go into the basic training uh, site, you, you go to something called reception. And reception is basically where they send you and before they determine like what company you'll go to to actually begin your training. But that I believe that is still part of, you know, the basic training because the basic training is, what that, like eight weeks long, you feel me? So reception, man. Reception was good. I was in 120th. Um, the food and reception was absolutely astronomical. Like the breakfast is like I hot breakfast, man. It was so good, man. I was like, damn. I mean, this is compared to like the um actual basic training breakfast. And uh, yeah, we woke we woke up. Did we do PT? Like you, you gotta bear with me. I'm trying to think, bro. I, like it's it's kind of like last year, you know. But hey. Did we, did we do PT? All right, we did PT. Barely. Actually, no, we didn't do PT. That's a cap. We didn't do PT because we was too busy getting shots. All right, all right, so when you enter reception, man, they, look, I was up for three days straight. No lie. Three days straight. No sleep, man. Coming off the bus, man. Standing at the... Well, we was really chilling. We wasn't standing in the position of, of, of attention. But, yeah. Hey, yeah. At first, you know, you be in the hotel and processing. Then you ride a bus to Fort Jackson. No bathroom on the bus. So make sure you take a piss or whatever you got to do. You know, deposit your check in the bank. Go make a deposit in the bank before you get on that bus, man. Because I came out of Baltimore Maps. So I was like, I forgot how long of a drive. I think it was like eight hours or something, man. To South Carolina, Fort Jackson. When I got off the bus, you know, everybody was standing outside waiting for the drill song. <laughs> the bus driver was like, best of luck. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just standing outside, you know, quiet, quiet as a mouse. We all lined up, you know. So, drill sergeant come outside. He like, he start yelling, everybody take out your pen. Your, your, uh, your, this little, this little packet we, you had, da, da, da. I was like, all right, bet. So I did that. <laughs> so I did that. Um, you go in there. They give you some, a, a lecture about the rules, stuff like that. Da, da, da. And um, you get a lot of shots, man. While you in processing, man, they line you up. You line up, bro. Take one shot. Boom. Doom. Line up. Another shot. Boom. You good to go. Boom. Line up. Another shot. Like all these immunization shots, man. They tell you what it is, but you know, I, I forgot what it is, man. Hepatitis B, stuff like that to get you immune. And then you just go through a whole bunch of lectures, uh, the do's and don'ts of the army, financial readiness class, man. You stand up, you, you're signing up for cards. I mean, you sign up for, um, you get your ego card, where so they, they deposit like $200 on it or something. And you know, yo, that's basically like how, that's just the in processing. The in processing 120th part of basic training. Like, you have to go through that. After three days of no sleep, we finally go into the bay and get some sleep. All right? Then we wake up early morning and do it all over again. Yeah, we, we didn't do, we, yeah, we never really did any PT. We didn't, we didn't do any PT, man. But yeah, everybody was crowded up, getting to know each other. Everybody coming from this part of part of life, man. Like, yeah, I'm from Maryland. I'm from Atlanta. Da da da. You know, you make friends, you make enemies. But usually the enemy, man, they moved on. All my enemies, they've moved on. They went and do their own thing. That's that's the army for you. You know, yo, I had this one drill sergeant. Oh my gosh, see, she was so bad, man. Like some of these drill sergeants right here are young, like 23. 24, she looks so good, man. I ain't gonna say her name, man, because you know, I, I just got out, so she may look at this video if this blow up, man. So I ain't gonna say her name, but man, oh my gosh, she was, 
I think she was like an exotic dancer before she joined the army and she decided to make that change around. All right. So anyway, I'm going to move on to the actual basic training. So basic training, man, we come out. Boom. What they do, they do something called a um a shark attack. So basically, <laughs> so basically the shark attack is like, as soon as you get off the bus, you got like five Joe Sergeant yelling, get off the bus, get off the bus, da, da, da. you know? And you like, what the fuck? Nah, so what happened, what happened is you go on the bus, right? And then once you go on the bus from 120th reception to basic training, you got to sit in the bus seat. The drill sergeant came out like, hey, I'm Joe Sergeant so-and-so, started yelling like a mud. Everybody get your head down and don't lift your heads up for nothing. So it's scary. I'm like, what the hell? I don't know what's going on. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just trying to do as I, I was told. And she, and then as soon as we reached down there, she was quiet. And she was like, everybody off the bus now. And then yelling at the top of her lungs. I was like, damn, like, why, why is you yelling? You're a female. Why are you yelling like that? She sound like a man, dog. But, you know, we all ran. And, oh, mind you, we had, we had the rucksack. Did we, no, we had two duffel bags. No, I had, my, I had two green duffel bags and my civilian backpack. They made us run laps, laps around the whole, what was it? Like the whole barracks. So it was like a mile, running laps. We drop off our, our luggage, pick up the luggage, run, keep running, keep running. I was like, damn, this is beyond me. But this is like kind of expected, you feel me? And then after that, I mean, right, right then they had us holding our, our luggage over there, our heads, and then just yelling and stuff. You know, it, it, it was torture. But that was only for like one day. And then we did that. And then after a week, everything calmed down. You know, because there's phases to basic training. There's red face, blue face, white face. And no, it's red phase, white phase, and blue phase. Three phases to basic training. So that's just red phase, the walk phase or whatnot. And we used to wake up early o'clock, like five o'clock in the morning, pull fire guard. Oh, that's another thing you, you had to do was fire guard. You did that in, in processing too. I always thought fire guard was like, you know, like when, whenever like, I thought fire guard was like you guarding from enemy fire. But really, fire guard is just so like, in case there's a fire, there's somebody up, you know. So we had to wake up, pull fire guard for like, how long was fire guard? I think fire guard was like two hours. Yeah, fire guard was two hours, man. Hey, down the line, as you get more comfortable and the weeks go on, man, you just pay somebody for that. We had this doing our basic training, man. His name was $5 Flores, man. He'd do anything for $5. I mean, I'm not... No, no funny thing, no funny thing, but you know, like fire guard shit, stuff like that. I was lazy. I had this dude doing my laundry, making out my uh, bed and all that, man. Shoot, cleaning, cleaning up my uh, supplies, <laughs> every, every, everything, man. But yeah, that was basic training. And when I went to the um, defect, we ate for like an hour. And when you're in line, when you're eating at the defect and basic training, at first they made us do exercises. So you had to do like 10 pull-ups. But before you go out and eat, and then you come out, you got to do some more pull-ups. That's like entry. And then once you get inside there, and he you got to be together, you got to move side to side. You can only eat with a fork, man. All, man, all types of stuff they had us doing in uh, Red, red Face. Um, so, you know, to, to start getting to close this down, man. One time, like before, I, when I was watching all these videos, before I got... Before I joined the army, now I'm deciding, like, you know what? Let me upload a video of my experience. I was like, man, look, man. If these drill sergeants come in my face like that, I'm laughing in their face. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> you yelling for no reason at the top of your lungs, man. This shit is funny to me. And I actually did that. Like, I was holding my cups. You're supposed to hold your cups, like, knuckle to knuckle, right? I was just holding them, like, <laughs> like my, my cups wasn't knuckle to knuckle. And she came, she was like, put your knuckles together. I was like, all right. I did that, right? And then I just uh, moved to the side. Moved to the side. And then she was like, and I was smiling when I did it. Because I'm just like a naturally like goofy. Damn, I got to edit that part out. So I was just, I'm just naturally goofy. And it's like, 
I'm always smiling and stuff, man. And she was like, okay, you think something is funny? <laughs> oh, she walked up, she saw like, you think something's funny, bro. I was dying laughing, bro. I was <laughs> like, she think this joint won't phase me. Like, my mother ain't do like haven't been yelling at me my whole life. What you mean? So anyway, here's the part that got me mad. I had two juices, bro. I think it was Kool-Aid. She took them joints and she hit them out my hand. I was like, oh, what? My smile wiped off, bro. And then that's when a whole bunch of drill sergeants, like four of them just came in and started yelling at me. They was like, you think it's a funny thing, game, bro? Once, I was smiling like shit. But once they knocked that juice out of my hand and had that joint on my clothes, I was like, I was like, <laughs> like I hit the Kanye West on their ass, bro. But yo, that would happen to me, man. And then from then on, everything was downhill. Um, in conclusion, though, it's just like everything is. Um, in conclusion, it's just like uh, everything is good. Um, I had some other experience in basic training, but other to that, man, it's just you know some advice for people that's going in. I know, damn, it's over ten minutes. I, I'm closing. Uh, some some advice for people that's going in. Just do as you're told. Don't be an individual. And if you're lacking in PT, try your best. If you're lacking to pass your PT test, try your best during PT. Like when you're going to get in smoke, uh, actually like do the, do the workouts. Don't be like me in the back just chilling. All right. Do push-ups and sit-ups at night because you'll have time. And, and, and yeah. And yeah, that's, that's all. It, it, it's very simple. Uh, comment for part two, you know, I got a lot of stories from basic training. I could, uh, comment if you want to hear like the story of when I got into basic training, I got arrested for fighting or that time. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's a whole, that's one story by itself. Or I could tell you about fraternization and basic training. You know, I got a lot of basic training. So, Comment, let me know what you, you want to hear. Uh, if I should do some more basic training videos or Army military experience uh, videos. And, you know, thanks for tuning in. Um, damn, well, well, what else happened? Or if you just want me to give you like a overall in-depth description of the different phases and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Comment what you want me to talk about next. And... And yeah, thank you guys.